Losing someone who is close to you is one of the hardest things that you can possibly go through. There's a grieving process or, you know, five stages of grief, and that's not always accurate for everybody. But, you know, each individual person experiences grief a little bit differently. So because of that, boundary setting is super important. You kind of have to sit back and evaluate, how am I grieving? What do I need in this situation? Um, you know, some people may want love, support, an influx of messages, letters. Some people may want to be left alone. Because of that, there's no one good way to grieve. So you kind of have to sit back and think to myself, what do I need and what am I not willing to do? Um, this could be going to social um, events. You know, maybe you're not ready to do that. Maybe you have to draw a boundary in going out and seeing other people. Maybe it's, you know, responding to emails or even going back to work. You know, effectively communicating these boundaries to other people is one way that, you know, your grieving might go a little bit easier. Sometimes boundary setting can be really uncomfortable. Um, this is already a difficult time and setting that boundary, especially with those who are trying to help, you know, you can kind of feel like you're doing something wrong. But in the longer run of things, you know, by setting that boundary, you're protecting yourself and actually protecting the other person. Um, by creating this boundary, you're creating the space that you need to grieve um, and allowing the other person to be there for you from a distance. There's lots of different examples of boundary setting, but you know, you kind of have to think about what's most important to you or even thinking about, you know, what's bothering you the most out of all of this and something that could be eliminated. Um, whether that be, you know, social events with friends or, um, you know, maybe it's been a boyfriend that died, let's just say, you know, and you are not ready to date. This could be a boundary set. You know, maybe you're out somewhere and someone is trying to talk to you and get a number and you're saying, you know, I'm just, I've told you I'm not ready. This is a boundary I'm setting, I'm not ready. Um, one of the hardest parts about boundaries is reinforcing them and keeping your boundaries. And it takes practice, but, you know, continuing to set those boundaries for yourself while grieving is a great way to protect you and move through the grieving process with ease.